Hi, my name is Chad Adams. I work for Skelp Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and this is the second example in our um, series on text parsing. I'd recommend you go back and look at some of the other videos. We're going to try to pull together some of the other functions and basically reproduce the same thing we did in example one, just using some different functions to do it. Okay, in this example, we're going to do the same thing we just did in example one, only we're not going to use middle. We're going to go for this example anyway, I think a little simpler way, and we're going to use substitute. So let's take a look at this. Um, I have a list of names, but they're using commas, not carriage returns. So I'm going to use substitute to swap out my commas, my search string comma, and I'm going to replace that with carriage returns. So if I evaluate that now, I see a nice list here. Okay. Well, it just so happens that FileMaker has some built-in tools, namely the value functions, to deal with a, a list like that. So what happens now, I'll copy this, I'll come back up here to my getValues function, paste in my list of values that I now have, and we want the sixth value. So that's going to get me right to Samantha Jones. That's pretty cool. All I need to do now is isolate the first name and last name so that I can get her initials. So I'll again copy this. I'll go to left words. Paste back in the text that I've calculated so far. Number of words that I want. There's Samantha. I can concatenate on a right words. The text that I want again here is her name while I'm pasting in the number of words I want. So I got Jones. And so now all I need to do is wrap both of these in my left function. And that's going to give me S Jones. Wrap this one in my left function. And there we have it. SJ. Again, you can use the let um, function to make that a little simpler to, to look at, but it's not necessary. In this case, I've defined the variables where my substitute tapping up here. I then get my value with the new list instead of having to put the substitute in there again. And I get first name, last name, and then we just evaluate that out. So exact same calculation. I've just parsed it into different variables so that my end calculation is simpler to look at.